Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video we are going to see how we can create a login form as a pop-up, okay, using JavaScript. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the demo of the application and this is the normal content and you can see we have this login navigation and if I click on that it will going to open this particular pop-up so this pop-up we are going to create in this video and mostly this video is like uh, uh, not the creation of login form it's for how to create the pop-up okay so and if we click on close it will going to close it so yeah let's start the video okay so right now you can see we have this index.html file over here and also the index.css and also I link that CSS file over here and so let me add the content and I will just show it to you uh, like how it will be work and then we can go for pop-up okay okay so I have uh, added the content like header and the main page uh, it basically have only like the header will have heading and also this navigation page or I can say navigation and it has home about us and login and in the main page you can see we have this content diff uh, which is all over the place like content here and here and here same thing we have like heading and the paragraph for the example so just to have a content over here in the page so let's see uh, the CSS which we have applied with for that uh, you can see the first thing we have this universal uh, asterisk which is removing the margin and padding which is uh, by default there with every tag so if I just remove this CSS or comment on it now you can see we have this space on top and left and right side okay so in order to remove this space we will uh, apply this particular css okay if you want you can apply for the body tag also it will also work but i will prefer star okay and now you can see we have this header which i am using like display flex content and align item and some padding we have like from top 20 pixel and from left and right I have 30 pixel and color I have white and background color this one okay similar with the UL because if I just remove this it will be like this okay so I am just taking like flex uh, there also and having evenly space and center alignment and width as 400 because by default it will have zero space or zero width that's why I am applying width and list style none for the uh, these dots okay so that's where I am applying list style as none and for the list item uh, li uh, we, I am applying like border and padding and some border radius and also the cursor as pointer so you can see the pointer cursor will come and for the hover I am just adding some shadow over there and for the main page it's just padding and some margins I have applied for the paragraph and the h2 tag okay so let's see uh, how we can create a pop-up and then we can toggle it using the JavaScript okay so let me add the pop-up code right here and explain it to you okay so now you can see I have added the pop-up content right here so you can see we have for the pop-up there is a pop-up class and also pop-up enable so let's see what these two classes are doing like pop-up and pop-up enable okay so if i open css down and you can see we have both the things right here and you can see uh, we have here pop-up enable we have pop-up disable and pop-up okay these th three classes we are required in order to toggle this okay so right now uh, this is like pop-up enable we have applied but initially you have to apply pop-up disable okay because we want it to be disabled when the application is loaded okay but for no example purpose I am just showing the enable like in order to see what's are there so you can see enable will have only display block and disable will have display none so these two classes we have to toggle uh, in the JavaScript okay and you can see we have this pop-up class what it is is uh, we are using fixed position from top and left and also width as 100% and we are taking full height of the screen and we are applying background color so this is something different you can see RGBA so what it means is it will give you some opacity in the background you can see the some black color is there but not the whole thing okay 
you can still see the content which is behind this okay so this particular thing you can create using this uh, background RGBA okay so this is the offset you have if you change it to like 0 0.9 the color will more darker and if I go with 0 0.3 it's more lighter okay that's why I'm using 0 0.7 and these three things are the color 0 0 0 which means black and you can also change the color uh, from here so it will going to come as required okay and now uh, in that you can see we have this particular div so this div uh, we have login card so you can see over here we have login card and using the position absolute we are centering this div okay if I just uh, big like this is screen also you can see it's center okay so this centering we are doing with this using uh, position absolute and top left and also the transform so this particular CSS we are using for centering the diff and we are have width as 800 pixel color uh, is white and also we are using display flex because we have two uh, diffs inside here like image and the content one okay so yeah this is about that and let's see uh, image you can see like image container we are taking 50 percent of the weight which means the 40 like uh, 800 pixels 50 percent we are getting for image container and same width for uh, image also so it's coming like this and we have login form right here same thing we are doing like we are taking 50 percent of width and we are applying some padding and also the background color you can see in the background white and for the header we have like getting some padding and also the border and for the field input field I will just show you so this is the login form we have the header and also this particular diffs are the uh, for the fields we have like this field I am talking about okay so for this we have class name as input field which I am just taking like margin uh, top because we need some space on top if I just uncomment it you can see like this if I want some space on top I am getting that okay and for this uh, using the input field I am targeting the input directly so in order to change the CSS you can see uh, input field and input I am applying width as 95% and height and same thing like border outline and some other CSS also okay and for the button uh, you can see we have something different okay so you can see in the buttons uh, container we have these two buttons first is login and the second is close okay so we uh, instead of having some different C like uh, uh, CSS for uh, this one and also this one these two buttons what we have done is we have used like uh, properties called first child and last child in order to change the color okay but we want like width height and all the CSS similar to both the buttons but only the color and also the background color we want something different that's why we have used first child and last child so what it means is you can see this button is there okay so what it will going to do is it will generally going to target the first child means the first one okay the last child means the last one okay so depending on that it will going to target that and also it will going to apply this CSS okay and these common CSS we are applying for both the buttons okay so this is about the login form we have and now let's see uh, how we can toggle this both things okay using the if you click on login it will appear if you click on close it, will, it should close okay so as I said like we have to disable it uh, when the application is loaded we want it to be disabled if you click on the login then only it should be visible okay so let's see so right here you can see we have login right here so for that we have to up, uh, give a ID for that in order to get that into the uh, script or JavaScript okay so I'm just creating a script tag right here and inside that I will create a uh, variable call like btn open and I will going to target with this uh, document dot get element by ID and I will provide the ID okay it's pop up and enable I think let's see yeah it's open okay I will just copy and paste it over there so yeah you can see uh, we have this btn open right here and one more ID we have to give to 
this particular pop-up okay you can see we have this id right here so we have to toggle the class of this id okay so you can see this pop-up disable and things okay so for this also i will create a variable called pop up and i will just target with this document dot get element by id and i will provide the id of it so you can see we have this one okay so let's see how we can uh, toggle the class this one okay so what we have to do is we have to remove this class and instead of this we have to uh, enable the class or insert the class as pop-up enable okay so this particular thing we have to do dynamically so right now what I will do is I will target this btn open and add a listener to there okay uh, which is click okay if you click on this particular button something will happen okay so that particular part we will have to write over here in this arrow function okay so uh, for the pop-up we have to toggle that class so I will just write pop-up dot class list in order to add the class or uh, remove the class we have to use this class list and then let's remove the class first which is pop-up disable so first we will remove this class and then we will add the class as enable okay so add and pop up enable so now you can see so uh, pop up disable is there already that's why we are removing that particular thing so the display none will gone and once you add this pop up enable class this particular css will going to apply which is display block okay so let's see uh, let's save this and let's see if it work or not i am just clicking on the login and you can see the pop-up appears okay and if you close it it won't work because we haven't written any uh, listener over there so let's uh, write a listener uh, okay so for the close button also we have this id so i will just copy that id and create a variable in the script called btn close and document dot get element by id i will target that id and for this btn close i will write a listener add event listener which is also a click event and in the arrow function we have to mention what to do okay so here in the open we remove the disable first then we enable we add the enable class now here we have to do a reverse process okay so first we have to remove the enable class and then we have to uh, add the disable class right here okay so i will just write enable over here and for the pop-up adding the class we have to add this disable class what it will do is it will going to apply display none okay so yeah let's do this so i will click on login it will open the pop-up if i click on close button it will disable the pop-up okay let's see in the bigger screen so I am clicking on it and you can see this is closing okay so let's inspect in and see into the browser also so right here you can see this particular class we have pop-up and pop-up disable okay if I click on the login you can see this class is changed it means uh, it's adding a class dynamically pop-up enable if I click on close it will going to uh, add uh, remove this enable class and add the disable class okay so see you can see pop-up disable is an, uh, right here so this is how we can create a pop-up using the JavaScript okay so this particular uh, thing we have to write for those buttons okay and we have to toggle the classes for this particular ID which is uh, this particular form okay this particular thing so yeah guys this is about uh, how to create uh, a login pop-up using JavaScript and thank you for watching this video if you feel uh, this video is helpful like the video and leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel and you can check out uh, the similar content on this playlist thank you and see you in the next video